A year and a half ago, I married Dave, my best friend. That was the happiest day of our lives. We had goals to buy a house, um, start my salon, and travel. Um, back in August after my best friend's wedding, I ended up dragging my leg out of work the following week. Um, that was really concerning and we kind of waited a while before we went to the doctor and then we for sure thought something was up when they couldn't figure it out. After months of being in the hospitals, going through all kinds of tests and scans and multiple different doctors, not being able to find out what I had, um, we finally went to the Mayo Clinic for 12 days and the doctor that we had came in the room. Typically he was really bubbly and that day he wasn't. So we kind of knew that it was gonna be cancer and that's what it ended up being. Um, he told us it was uh, stage four non-Hodgkin's lymphoma after a couple more tests and that I was gonna have to go through six months of chemo. Why? There were a lot of moments that uh, I just didn't understand why it was happening to me. And when I found out I was gonna lose my hair, when I found out I had to get a rod put in my leg, all those things were just, I had a lot of expectations for my life and that a lot of things changed at the snap of our fingers. So I turned to God and I prayed. Luckily, had the core um, keeping me grounded and close to God, um, keeping my faith strong in God. And I prayed a lot. My dad and my husband and my family started praying a lot more, and it brought a lot of people closer to God that way too. Um, but that really helped us get through what I had to go through. And um, there were times where I really felt like I was going to die. Um, or wishing that I was. There were times going through it that I felt like Satan was creeping in and I remember being in the MRI machine once feeling very alone and I was praying like, God, please send me comfort and be with me. And I was starting to doubt that he was there with me and um, just because I didn't feel comfort or peace through a lot of stuff that I had to go through. There were times in the hospital that I kind of was hoping that God would take me to heaven. We were lucky enough to have established relationships with people at the core. Um, we pretty much call it our family here now. Um, they helped us with a lot of support in so many different ways and we are so blessed to have them. It brought my family and I closer to God. Um, it also, I think, helped that we started going to church at the core a lot more. Um, we got involved with core groups and Bible studies and anything I could do to stay close to God. I knew that's what I had to do to get through this or I probably would have never made it through. There were so many times that I would call Pastor Mike crying and say, I need I need help. What, what do I do to get closer to God? I don't feel like he's in my life right now. And, I was always reminded that 
Um, God loves me and he's never gonna leave me and he proved that to be true. A few things that I learned going through this that I think anyone could take from this is I'm, I know people have gone through a lot worse things than I have and I never would have thought I could make it through this if I wouldn't have had faith with, and wouldn't have had God there to help me through everything. And sometimes um, bad things happen even if you are close to God and that's not God punishing you and that's not God um, mad at you or anything. He loves us no matter what and if anything bad happens it's God allowing it to happen because he knows he can use it for the good and sometimes it's hard to see the good when you're going through something really bad but um, it's there and you really have to look for it and sometimes you might not find out till years later and see the way it touched people. I really hope that my experience has helped other people grow their faith and I've seen it work in others and it's really cool to see the way God can bless you with such a terrible thing. But I can honestly say that my cancer was a blessing. It's really made Dave and I both value family a lot more, um, our quality time with our family. Um, it's made us appreciate the people in our lives and see how blessed we are. And we are really blessed with a lot of really amazing people in our lives and God put them there for a reason. So I think that's really cool too. My name is Katie Spielbauer, and my God is stronger than cancer. Thank you.